Hello and welcome to Fairy Tale is the greatest anime of all time, as expressed by people on the internet. Let us begin. The best thing about this world, fairy tale. Words are too earthly and competent and humane to describe this amazing, most epic, the most awesome show ever. It's funny, emotional, exhilarating, visually stunning, thrilling, exciting. It's everything good about this universe. The characters, the heroes, the villains, the allies, the people in the background, everyone in the show are so amazing. Hiro Mashima, you are a god. You are more than a mere god. A genius. I am eternally grateful to you for making this show, for giving meaning to my life. Fairy tale is the manifestation of magic itself. So pure. Nothing can ever even come close to this. It's the best show. No, not show, but the thing in the world. Period. Wow, powerful. Powerful. Let's move on. The truth. This anime is excellent to its very core. The thing is that it has a humorous tone other than plain old serious. You don't see the characters bleed or they rarely die. Every fool who mocks this masterpiece does not realize what it truly stands for. You see, they don't show bad guys having super awesome weapons and the protagonist still beating them, no. They show you togetherness, friendship, collaboration, other than one guy being bloody praised every freaking episode, talking about you, Naruto. Nor does it show someone having a perfect record with all he fights and being super nice to unknown dudes, DBZ. This show has tons of places where the weak members shine, like when Happy and Carla destroy the Grimoire Heart, or when Wendy risks her life to destroy Face, or when Elfman wins the first Grand Magic fight. Tell me, all you DBZ, Naruto's, One Piece fans out there who claim uh, fairy tale sucks, has there been an enemy who is not destroyed by the Saiyans or Naruto? Rarely. But in fairy tale, they all stand together, fight for each other, not to become Hokage or find some stupid balls and calling out for panties, but to protect the ones the hold dear. And if you don't understand this, please stop calling yourselves otaku thank you and hail fairy tale wow wow let's move on to another fairy tale the best anime ever unlike every other anime Fairy tale consists of many qualities like action, fantasy or magic, story, which in my opinion is the best, and it's commodity. It doesn't waste time fighting, but it is not too short. The story is makes you want to be a part of the anime itself. The characters have the best personality, unlike Goku and Dragon Ball Z, which practically always say fight me. The story arcs get you sucked into the show even more because as soon as something amazing happens, BAM! Another amazing thing is loaded on top. I believe this deserves number one, not just because it is epic, but that, as I said, is an anime with multiple genres in one which make it look, sound, and even feel fantastic. I use my spare time to draw characters from the show, and not meaning to brag, are awesome. I haven't drawn anything for any other one, but this does not mean it is the best, it is just my opinion. I adore its magical abilities like no other anime has ever thought of anything similar to this. It brings the classic fire, 
ice, knight, and summoner into an awesome plot that includes mages of all ages, magical creatures, fantastic magical abilities, and the best characters ever. I believe that every other anime should improve itself to match up to Fairy Tale's superior story. I, uh, I think I can really only take one more of these. I, uh, I warn you ahead of time to prepare yourself for this last one. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. I've watched Hunter x Hunter, Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Punch Man, Gurren Lagann, Akame Ga Kill, my Hero Academia, One Piece on 84th episode now, haven't finished yet, and many more amazing anime which are rated high in all websites. But still, Fairy Tale holds a special place in my heart. This anime is just perfect for me. People criticize it for the friendship thing, but they don't understand that this anime is all about friendship. It explains the importance of family and friends. People also criticize it for no death scenes, but this anime has explained that you don't die for your friends, you live for them. Fairy tale makes you laugh and makes you cry. The OST is amazing. Also, if you think that the female characters in fairy tale are over-sexualized, then you haven't watched a lots of anime like High School DxD, Kill la Kill, Gurren Lagann, High School of the Dead, etc. I just want to say that love fairy tale the way it is. Don't criticize this masterpiece. It's not your regular type of shonen. It makes its fans get emotionally attached to it. If you only like action, fighting, brutality, and mass killing in anime, then you have no heart. Fairy tale is criticized for no character development, but they do it the best. They keep the character's backstory a suspense for a long time, making true fans stick onto the show for long. I know many people who deny watching fairy tale just because of its name. They're completely insane. There are many great anime I've watched, but there's a reason why fairy tale is above them for me, even above the masterpiece Gurren Lagann. Stop comparing fairy tale to Bleach, Naruto, and other shonen, and enjoy it the way it is. It's kind of rude, but f everyone who thinks fairy tale is trash. If you think fairy tale is trash, then your heart is made up of stone. Fairy tale is the best anime ever for me because it has saved my life many times. I'm emotionally attached to it. Everything about this anime is perfect. Storyline, OST, characters, etc. Just because it's different from regular type of shonen, it doesn't mean that it's bad. So please, stop comparing and hating and watch. You'll love it. Again, those who say fairy tale is trash should die. Thank you for joining me. I um I'm not really sure this was a, a good decision. That's all I can take for today. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.